Hey everybody, I am Jarrett Ross, the Genie Vlogger, and this is vlog number 10. So it's actually been a bit since I've done any vlogging since uh, I got back from the conference. I've been so focused on editing different videos and working on different things that um, I just haven't had as much time to deal with making a vlog. I recently joined AP Gen, the Association of Professional Genealogists, so I'm actually listed there so you can go and find me if you're looking to hire a genealogist. I'll link that down below. So for today's vlog, I figured I would talk about something that a lot of people are really interested in and a lot of people ask me all the time is which company to buy a DNA test from. A lot of people when they go to buy a DNA test, they don't know about the different companies and most of the time, even if they know about the different companies, they don't really understand what the difference is between them. So this video is going to detail that. There's going to be four different companies that I'm going to talk about. Those four companies are 23andMe, Family Tree DNA, Ancestry DNA, and MyHeritage. The biggest difference between them is the main type of customer that they have. For most people who get 23andMe, their main interest is the medical part of the DNA. In some countries, they don't have the medical information. There have been a lot of different laws which have changed the way they've been allowed to do business in different countries. Depending on where you are, you may not have access to certain uh, medical tests that they offer. For Family Tree DNA, the main clientele are genealogists and family historians. So most of the people who are doing the tests on Family Tree DNA are people who have a pretty good understanding of their ancestral background, they have a pretty good understanding of the paper trail, um, but that's not everybody. I find people who have more experience with the actual genealogy and are looking to use it for genetic genealogy, I find most of them use Family Tree DNA. For Ancestry DNA, I find that's more of your everyday person's type of uh, company. A lot of people really like Ancestry DNA for their admixtures. And then with my heritage, you have a, a good amount of people who are more into the genealogy. My Heritage DNA does connect into the system with the My Heritage trees. Um, so you do get a lot of people who are on My Heritage building their family trees using My Heritage DNA. Between the four companies, it's all very easy to do the testing. They send you out a kit. For two of the companies, 23andMe and Ancestry, they uh, take saliva, so you basically like spit into a cup. For Family Tree DNA and My Heritage, they have cheek swab. Both of them are pretty easy. Now from those four companies, they all have different pricing and then depending on where you are, the pricing will be a little different as well, but I'm just gonna talk about US pricing because I'm based in the US. For 23andMe, there's technically two types of kits you can get. For $99, you can get the Ancestry only and that's just gonna tell you all the ancestral stuff. So that's your admixture, they give you uh, Y-DNA information, mitochondrial information, I'll tell you more of that later. And they also show you matches. For $199, that's when they add in the medical side of the testing. So if you're looking to do a DNA test to find out medical information, 23andMe is probably going to be your best bet, and you're going to want to get the $199 kit. For 23andMe, they charge $9.95 for shipping. For Family Tree DNA, I believe it's usually $89, but they're constantly running different specials. I know right now they're running an August special. Sometimes it can be uh, pretty cheap, uh, especially if you get different coupons. You're looking at under $100, so it's, it's, it's a pretty good price. For Family Tree DNA, the shipping cost is $12.95. For Ancestry DNA, it's $99 for a kit. They also have sales going on, and theirs right now makes it $69 for a kit. For Ancestry, the shipping cost is $9.95. For MyHeritage, it's usually $99 for one of their kits. They also have uh, sales going on right now for uh, their kit, it's $69. And for MyHeritage, the shipping cost is $12. All of these tests are available in different places. 23andMe is available in 56 different countries, and you can go on 23andMe to see which countries those are. And then also with 23andMe, some of their medical tests are not available in certain places. For Family Tree DNA, they say they're available worldwide. So wherever you live, you should be able to get Family Tree DNA. For Ancestry, you've got five countries that are eligible. Uh, the United States, United Kingdom, 
Ireland, Australia, and New Zealand. For my heritage, that one's pretty much available everywhere. The only places it's not available is France, Poland, Israel, and Alaska. With all these websites, they have different features and different things available to you. So now we're gonna get a bit more into the nitty gritty and talk about the more specific differences of the actual tests. With all of the kits except for 23andMe, you have an ability to link the DNA to a tree or upload a GEDCOM. 23andMe, although they don't have it available, you can actually upload it for free onto Family Tree DNA, and then from there you can upload a GEDCOM onto uh, Family Tree DNA. Uploading onto Family Tree DNA, although Though it is free there is a portion that does cost money one of the big differences between all these companies is the types of chips that they're using which is basically what reads the uh, DNA and how many snips it's reading um, a snip is a single nucleotide polymorphism hopefully I said that correct We'll be talking about uh, SNPs actually with Michael Waz and Zach Gordon in an upcoming video. What the difference between how many SNPs they test is it just is how much of the DNA that they're actually testing. Technically, the more SNPs that you test, the better of an inference the company can make. 23andMe tests the least amount of SNPs at 577,382 SNPs. Ancestry tests the next highest amount, which is 637. 1,639 SNPs. Family Tree DNA tests about 690,000 SNPs. And then MyHeritage tests 702,442 SNPs. So they're all testing different amounts of SNPs. This is actually one of the reasons why when you do tests with these different companies, you get different results and your admixtures read differently. And if you're uploading it to GEDmatch and doing the admixtures that they have available there, you'll probably notice that your different kits are giving different reads. All of these companies, except for Family Tree DNA, give you a window into your Y chromosome. Your Y chromosome, which a lot of people refer to as Y DNA testing, that is something that's passed down from your father. Males have X and Y chromosomes. Females have X and X chromosomes. X coming from the mother, Y coming from the father. And then in the case of females, an X coming from the mother and an X coming from the father. So the Y chromosome, which we're gonna talk about with Michael Waz in an upcoming video. So the Y chromosome gives you a very specific look into your paternal line. Now of these four, even though Family Tree DNA is the only one that doesn't give you a look into your Y DNA through an autosomal test, Family Tree DNA offers specific Y testing kits. Now of these four companies, only two of them give you information on your mitochondrial DNA. And like your Y DNA is your purely paternal line, your mitochondrial DNA is your purely maternal line. And the two companies that give you information on this is 23andMe and Ancestry. So once again, Family Tree DNA actually offers testing on the mitochondrial DNA. So, it, so if you're interested in that and you do it through Family Tree DNA, a much more specific test. I should also mention that the Y DNA and mitochondrial DNA tests that Family Tree DNA offers gives more precise information than what you're going to get with these other three companies. So while you do get that information with the autosomal test through 23andMe and Ancestry and MyHeritage for Y DNA at least, you're not going to get as precise information as if you do the test with uh, Family Tree DNA, which do cost extra. Now, this was a quick breakdown between all four of the companies. If you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Let me know if there's anything that you were interested in hearing more about or something that you just didn't understand. I do have a lot more DNA videos coming up, so there's gonna be a lot more information. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed, you can click somewhere right around here. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Genie Vlogger. I'm the Genie Vlogger. I'm out.